Okay, so I've had some requests to start comparing some of the differences between Microsoft Dynamics RMS and Retail Management Hero, which is the direct replacement for Microsoft Dynamics RMS. Thought I'd start with something a little easier to compare, and this is how physical inventories are done within each software program. So I have RMS open. And as a reminder, to do a physical inventory, we go to Inventory, Physical Inventory. And we can create a new one based on our various criteria. As far as if we're doing the whole store, different departments, different categories, things like that. Uh, since I already have one open, I'm going to cancel out and go to the one that I have open. And basically, this is the point then where we can count manually, or we can import a file if we're using one of those lovely data collection devices, which come with a whopping half meg to two megabytes of memory. But really, that's all you need for those to uh, do the basic physical counts. And after we're done with our count, then we can calculate for discrepancies. We can uh, recount where the, there are discrepancies, and then we commit once we have double-checked everything so we can account for missold items, shrinkage, errors, things like that. Now, what a lot of folks using RMS have done is rather than using a little handheld data collection device, they've actually put RMS Manager on a laptop and attached the scanner and put it on a cart and wheeled it around. That definitely works. Um, I also know folks that print this uh, count sheet off by hand. So there's multiple ways of doing it. Um, point is it's there, and this is how RMS does it. So now let's hop over to Retail Management Hero and show you how that's done. Now, what's cool about Retail Management Hero is they've actually broken out the stock take or physical inventory count into its own module. So that makes it a little easier to install on a device. You don't have to, in theory, install RMS Manager. You do need, or so RMH Manager. You do need access, of course, to the database so you can create your count sheet. Uh, but it does, it does simplify things quite a bit, and that's pretty cool. So I've already created one uh, for account, and you know it's fairly similar. We can do our accounts by hand. We can add a comment, which is kind of cool. Uh, and of course, it's telling me I'm way off <laughs> on these counts because I'm just making it up as I go along. Um, so we'll put in one that's got the correct amount here. So it's, um, it's nice. Now, they've also added a few other options. We can view everything. We can show just our discrepancies. We can apply some various filters. And obviously, I'm not trying to use this video as full-blown training. This is just highlights. So that's why I'm just kind of hopping through things kind of quick here. Uh, of course, we still have the ability to do our commitments, to amend, to create a new count, uh, to do our import, various uh, tools and options. You know, if we want to go in and decide what color scheme we want to use, if something's over, under, or correct, we can do that. We can also define our handheld device as far as bringing in a count to compare for discrepancies. So very cool. Uh, I do like how it is set up along with some of the additional stuff they've added while maintaining kind of the core functionality. Um, I should show you if, if you are going to create a batch. We'll get our little warning message. We'll say OK. And we still have some of the options. You know, if we're going to do it just by departments or categories, if we're going to do everything, if we want to go crazy and create our own basically uh, filter or just hit uh, certain certain areas. So 
that is always nice. Not everyone counts the whole store at once. Although everywhere I have been a retail manager, we do the whole doggone thing at once. And it means about 26 hours of straight work. I personally like the idea of doing the count, but also doing spot checks. You know, those pesky things by the door that tend to disappear. Or maybe uh, just rotating through departments or categories on a annual basis or monthly basis or quarterly basis. Take your pick. Okay, so if you have any questions on all this fun stuff, we are a Retail Management Hero partner. We are also a Microsoft Dynamics partner. So we can pretty much help you with anything. I'll put the contact information in the video description. And please do reach out if there's anything we can assist with. Thank you.